Welcome to this video. This is God with Ogwalu. I am excited to come to you again. Uh, we were talking about vision and we, we were looking at the life of Joseph. And we looked at the book of Genesis chapter 37 where the Bible says, And Joseph told his dreams of his brothers and his brothers hated him. You know, it's interesting that the people you would expect to get excited when God gives you a vision are the people that are not excited over the vision of your life. And we're not saying that is the case with everyone. There are those that will definitely be excited for what God wants to do in, your, in and through your life. But there are those that are just not going to be excited. Uh, but, but whether some are excited or not, the ultimate uh, and most important thing is the fact that God has spoken to you and God has an amazing plan for your life. I want you to know that God has an amazing plan for your life. I did emphasize the need to find out God's plan at a young age. I also emphasized the need to stay with the plan, stay with the program. You know, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 2, it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. You know, we are not to look to any man, we are not to look to the circumstances, we are to look unto Jesus, because he that has begun a good work in you, that's Philippians, I believe it's chapter 1, verse number 9, or verse number 6, I'm sorry, he that has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So God has an amazing plan for your life. God has an amazing agenda for you. Whether you're 10 or you're 20 or you're 30, 40 or 50, 60, it does not really phase God. I want you to understand that the plan of God for your life will definitely come to pass if you will pay the price and do what is required of you. Now, what is a vision? In this part, I want to define what a vision is. A vision is a clear picture of a better tomorrow given by God, which moves a person to believe that it not only could be done, but it should be done. Vision puts fire in a person. Vision puts an urgency in your heart and propels you to pursue the dream. I want to speak to you quickly on truths about vision. Number one truth about vision is this. Vision is a container. It is said that over 60% of sports people lose their wealth after retirement. Now, the reason why they lose their wealth after retirement is because they're not able to sustain their ostentatious lifestyle. You know, when you are a sports person, you're probably earning $100,000 every week. That's a lot of money. You're driving the best of cars. You're living in a palatial home. But the moment you stop your active sports, you discover that you there's you don't have that kind of money coming in anymore. And now the question is, what do you do with the rest of your life? You probably play for 25 years, sorry, for 15 years, I said 25 years. You probably play for 10 years or 15 years, active professional uh, uh, sports, and then you retire. What next? That is why vision is important. When you retire, you are still going to continue living your life and, and living uh, uh, a life of purpose and vision, but if you've got no vision, uh, when you retire, you've got nothing to contain all the money you've made. And if you're not making money, guess what's happening? You are losing money. So vision is a container. The second thing I need you to know about vision is this. Vision is a propeller. Vision propels you through life. You know, there are times you people fall down, they're knocked down by life circumstances, but vision picks them back up and they continue to run their race. When you see a man with a vision, you see a man that will never give up on life because vision is a propeller that continues to propel you through every life's circumstances. I need you to understand that God is with you because his vision is in you. Let me say that again. God is with you because his vision is in you. Now, think about 
a massive ship. A massive ship is propelled through the Atlantic Ocean by a propeller. See, there is a propeller that propels that massive ship. But if you've not got a massive ship with a propeller, what have you got? You've got a canoe and you have to paddle and paddle and paddle. And what happens after a while? Your hands get tired. You cannot paddle anymore. And then you would have to capsize and sink. But when there is a propeller, it propels you through uh, the Atlantic Ocean. It propels you through the Mediterranean. So I want you to understand that vision is what propels us through life. The Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish. The third thing about vision is this. Vision brings structure. The Bible says where there is no vision, the people cast off restraints. So vision is what locks you in. Vision is what keeps you within the confines of the plan and the purpose of God. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1, when God spoke to Joshua, verse 3 to 5, he said to him, he said to him, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, I have given to you as I said to Moses. Notice, God said every place. Now, if you look at what God is saying to Joshua, you will think to yourself, God meant wherever Joshua went to. But in actual fact, God was not saying wherever you go to. Because God continues by saying, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. So we understand that God formed a border right around Joshua and said within this border wherever the sole of your foot shall tread upon I give unto you what do I mean by this vision brings structure when there is vision vision is what forms the border around you and you succeed within the plan and the purpose of God for your life you can be here and there and expect to be a success so it's important to understand that number four the vi the full fulfillment of a vision is someone else's breakthrough. Let me say that again. The fulfillment of a vision is someone else's breakthrough. Now, when your vision is fulfilled, someone breaks through because of that. Because you've got to understand that there are, there are people praying right now as we speak. They are praying for God to bring them direction. They're praying for something amazing to happen in their lives. You see, the success of your vision is the breakthrough that they need. When you succeed, they succeed. Because you see the way God works? God works with teams. God will bring people together. When you break through, the next guy breaks through. That is the reason why it's important for you not to give up on what God has said to you, on what God has said over your life. You've got to pursue it until it comes to pass. Understanding that the lives of tens of thousands of people depend on the success of your vision. So when you break through, other people break through. I I want you never to forget that. Your breakthrough is someone else's breakthrough. The last thing I want to share with you on this uh, subject is if a God vision is conceived in a place of intimacy. Now, the word intimacy can be defined as into me, see. Spend quality time with God because that is where vision is conceived. You know that people don't get pregnant uh, without doing what brings Pregnancy. Intimacy brings pregnancy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And that is the reason why as New Testament believers, we must understand the work of the Holy Spirit in our day and time. When we are intimate with the Holy Spirit in our fellowship, in our Bible study time, in our prayer time, guess what happens? Vision is conceived. And we carry that vision and then we burst that vision at the proper time. I want to encourage you to spend time with the Lord from today. I want to encourage you to stay strong in the Lord and in the power of His might and everything the Lord has in store for you will not just be revealed but they shall all come to pass. I pray that God will strengthen you today and always. God bless you. God will look you here. I love you. See you again next time. Bye-bye.